Hello everyone, welcome to this command prompt video series tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to work with the echo command. In the process, we will write test to a file. We will also read test from a file. We will be using some other commands along the echo command. To do that, let's open our CMD as we normally do. Command prompt. Now I have my command prompt window open. The echo command is a very powerful command to use. First, I will run this command echo space forward slash question mark. Hit enter. Great. Here it tells me that there are some commands I can run with it here. Echo on or echo off, then echo message. And here it says you can type in the echo command without parameters to display the current settings for the echo command. What that means is I can run this command, echo, hit enter, great. Here it says echo is on. I can turn echo on or turn it off. If I run the command echo off and hit enter, now nothing is working again on the command prompt because echo is turned off. If I enter any other command, it won't work. It says again echo off. Now for me to turn it on, I will have to enter this command echo space on. Hit enter. Great. Now I can see the C directory and users directory as well, which means echo is on. For example, I know that I have the Java home part set on my computer and I can echo that. To do that, I say echo space percentage sign percentage sign. And in between the percentage signs, I will enter here, Java underscore home. Just the way I set the environment variable. And now we hit enter. Great. It tells me now that this is the path to my Java home directory. I also have the Catalina home set on my computer. And when I run echo Catalina home, it will tell me the part that I set for the environment variable. I can do that. Echo, space, percentage sign, percentage sign, and in between the percentage sign, I will enter here, Catalina underscore home. Catalina underscore home, I hit enter. Great, here it shows the part where I set the Apache Tomcat 10 on my computer. So you can use the echo command to find the environment variables that were set on your computer. But the echo command does more than that. Let me move this one up first. Now I'm going to enter this command echo space, double quotes, double quotes, hello world, hit enter, great. Now it prints the hello world string to my screen. You can also write echo home and it will print it to the screen. But if you are going to use multiple words, it is better to use the double quotes for that. If I see here hello, double quote, double quote, I love CMD. Hit enter. Great. Here it says I love CMD. I have three words here, so it is better to use the double quotes for multiple words. Now let me open the file explorer. I have a folder on my desktop and it is called AI Dev. I have several files inside that folder. Now I am going to use the command prompt to navigate to this folder. Here I will say CD desktop and and cd ai dev and and touch message dot tst hit enter great now it has created a file named message of test let me check this folder again exactly now i have a file here called message dot test it is an empty file 
I'll close it. Now inside this folder, I'm going to create another file. I will still use the same command, the touch command. Touch, space, and what's the name of the file that I'm going to create? I will call it mywork.txt. And now I'm going to write some test to this file. I'll say here, space, and, and, echo, double quote, double quote, hello world, space, and go bracket, my work.txt. What this command does is, it touch my work.txt will create a file named my work.txt and echo hello world, we print the message hello world, and where is it printing it to? It is going to print it in this file, my work.txt. If I hit enter, great. Now let's verify that. Now I have a file here named my work.txt. I'll open it. Exactly. I have hello world printed in this file. Now I'm going to close it. Now I am going to add more test to that file. To do that, I will say here, echo, space, double quote, double quote, command prompt is great. This time, I am not going to use one arrow sign. This time, I will use two arrow symbols. One and another arrow. Again, I want to run into the my work test file my work dot tst and of that in here notepad space my work dot tst what this command will do is easy to understand this will write this message to the my work file and open it in notepad i'm going to hit enter exactly now i have hello world command prompt is great. There is a typo here with prompt should be spelled this way. Prompt. Now I will close it. Now we have been able to write to a file so far. We can also read the content of a file to the command prompt window. To do that, I can see here cut my work dot tst and hit enter. Exactly. Now it reads the content of that file to the command prompt window console. So this is how you can use the echo command to write message to a file and use the cat command to read message from a file. There is a lot more that we can do with the echo command. I will be using it in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.